Shetis. Shetis. It seems like every time I go to create the list, another electronic appliance gets added to it, and so it feels like it's ever growing. It's gonna stop about halfway, so that's two pieces plus the side trim. It's 5.45 in the morning, and for some, while well, they may be getting their day started and they're up and running, this is really much earlier than I'm used to getting up. I'd probably, under normal circumstances, still be in bed for another three hours. I'm off to Home Depot. I've got myself a U-Haul truck on the other side of our bus here. I'm gonna start picking up our first round of supplies. Oh, so dark. That's because it's 5.45 in the morning. today is to work on our energy audit. So we know how many solar panels to buy and how much energy we will actually be using when we convert our schoolie into a recreational vehicle that we will use, at least initially full time. We really need to perform an energy audit. So the energy audit is going to entail calculating how often we charge our cell phones, how often we use kitchen appliances, everything. It seems like every time I go to create the list, another electronic appliance gets added to it. And so it feels like it's ever growing and a little bit complicated, but I think if I really put some focus into it today, it's going to come together and we'll be able to order our panels shortly thereafter. Could have been stardust, same world but without us. Something made us, made us find each other out there. For the purposes of an energy audit, when calculating your energy usage, use the output. You can typically gather an appliance's energy information by looking at the sticker on the back or side of the appliance. When all else fails, you can also Google it or go to the manufacturer's website. So now that we have stuck all of our small appliances on the counter that I can find at this time, I'm going to start putting all the details about that item on our energy audit form. Have you ever performed an energy audit of your own home? Let us know in the comments down below. Now is as good a time as any if you're still watching to please subscribe to this channel and like this video. It's still in I want to be clear that these videos are certainly not how-to videos. If anything, they are of how to fail repeatedly, get back up again, and keep going on. Henry Ford has a quote, if you think you can do a thing or think you can't do a thing, you're right. Eric struggled for days trying to make this furring strip template. The furring strips are the pieces of wood that we're going to put alongside the metal so that way we have things to tie into. Though exhaustive and frustrating making this template, we felt that if we had a template to put along each of the ribs within the bus, we would use far fewer screws and save time in the long haul. Eventually we did figure out how to make a template, but it took a lot of trying. I'm so happy we went through the effort because the end result does look great, as you'll see in future videos. Because now this has the curve, so then... That has the, cur that has the curve and the bottom, right? So 
Yeah, that's good. That's, that's, oh, this needs to be straight because the bottom of it is straight. It needs to be straight. Uh, this piece, this piece here should just be flush. It doesn't need to come down. Okay. It only needed to be notched yeah, out yeah. on the inside piece, okay. not on the outside. Okay. Right. But, uh, but that's perfect. Right? Yeah, so that's the, the curve that you want. Yep. And you know, does it need to go all the way to the top or, I mean, it's easier because then for tying in, it's better. Just add an inch on the top. One of the big tasks we need to complete soon is getting our house rented out. Whenever you get ready to leave your house and fill it with renters or sell it, you do the most work on it. At this point, we're mulching our entire backyard, which is about a half acre and takes quite a bit of time. I'm glad we've knocked it out now as the yard looks fantastic. So we get to enjoy that a little bit before we leave. Wherever I go, it's the same. There's no excuses, no one to blame. Sometimes I can understand. Once we secure a tenant, we are going to be alleviating ourselves of a huge monthly expense, which is our mortgage. Hopefully, we'll also make a little profit as well, so that can keep us on the road for a little bit longer. Thank you to everyone for continuing to watch our videos and subscribe to our channel. It means the world to us. See you soon. You hold me tight in the rain Even as we're having a fight Oh, crows. Huh? As the crow flies. I need you too, but I'm gonna... Your funny back up, I'm gonna help. Say cheese! Cheese, Penny, I'm going to help. I'm going to make it into a toy. No, I'm going to make it into a chew. But, but please, I'm going to, if this is too broken, I usually can fix it into a toy. Yeah. No, no, Penny, it is a black No, I need that you. Yeah. Half an inch here, half an inch lower on that. An inch and a half. An inch and a half on that. This is an inch and a half. Let's say inch and three quarters. An inch and three quarters. A uh, half inch.